Okay, so my interest for Garo is continuing to rise higher and higher by the episode now. Like, the conclusion of this episode? Leon is about to commit suicide. Like, it's implied at the end of this episode that he is killing himself. Like, you see this giant-ass cliff in front of him. You see birds flying to the sky as symbolism. And then you just see him falling. And I'm like, is he gonna fucking die? Like... I really, really, really doubt, like, I am, I almost 100% doubt that Leon would die. Like, I highly doubt he will die. I really am. But, how will he survive? That's the big question. And honestly, I think I know what is going to happen. Mendoza. Mendoza in this episode, I'm just going to say, if he really did die, I want to be just straight up disappointed. Like, I will be just straight up fucking disappointed if that really was the death of Mendoza. So, I'm going to assume Mendoza is te technically still alive and he's not really dead. That was just, you know, a monkey's paw. Wait, well, that was supposedly us to assume he's dead, but I highly doubt he is. But anyways, with Leon falling down the bluff, if he does fall... I'm willing to bet that either A, Mendoza is going to corrupt him, because Mendoza was slightly doing that in this episode. Mendoza is going to appear, save Leon, corrupt him, turn him into a horror, and maybe the Black Knight that, you know, Bernardo that we saw last episode, maybe that was foreshadowing to Leon turning evil. Get what I'm saying? Maybe he'll have a new objective, maybe he might turn into the uh, new Mendoza. That is my overall theory of what I think most likely is going to happen, because I highly doubt Leon would die. But if he does die, holy shit. But I mean, like I said, I highly doubt he dies, and if he does die, that's what I think will happen. So, the episode, for the most part, of Garo. It was a very, very good episode. I mean, it had some battle scenes, CGI battle scenes. The CGI could have been a little bit better, but it wasn't too bad. It was enjoyable. And for the most part, I did notice a little bit of derps when it did come to the animation of this episode. Now, it doesn't put down the episode. It doesn't make this episode bad, because this episode's fucking great. Oh my god. It was a really good episode. But there was a couple of animation derps, especially with Alfonso when he was walking into the castle and all that, and you saw the peasants and stuff talking to him. That right there, that those animation derps on their faces, like, oh, shit. Like, it just it looked oof. But anyways, besides that, Alfonso's mother commits suicide. So, we're having, like, a double suicide in this episode. Like, what, what what's with Garo and the suicides? Like, you know, you have Leon at the end of this episode about to kill herself, and then you have the, you know, the queen about to kill, like, the queen killed herself. Now, I want to assume something real quick. I highly doubt, I highly doubt that the queen really tried to kill herself. Like, I feel like there's something else there. I really feel like there's something else there with the queen's death. I'm willing to bet there's going to be something that's going to be unexpected, but I highly doubt that queen's death was just actual suicide. Like, I highly doubt it was just suicide. So, I don't know. We'll have to see on that entire aspect. So... Alfonso takes the golden Mokai Knight armor from Leon, and that actually drives Leon to go into, like, suicidal mode at the end of this episode, and for the most part, I understand why Leon got into his little, you know, depression with this episode, because, I mean, he got forced to see a flashback, or, you know, his mother in the past when she was burning, I don't think it was necessarily the same aspect of when the mother was burning, you know, definitely Mendoza manipulated that, but, I mean, still the point of it is, is he got to see his, like, own mother, his blood mother burning, and that, that's definitely traumatizing to see something like that, and so, overall, seeing how he lost himself to rage, this burning flame he's had for, like, 17 years, and he started destroying the entire village, I was just like, oh my god, this is a, the, freaking, Leon's gonna get on some Mendoza status, because Mendoza, we know what happened to him, and I'm thinking, like, Leon's gonna get on that Mendoza status, and of course, he lost his armor. Garo didn't accept Leon anymore and went to Alfonso, so our new main character, I think, is switched over to Alfonso, which is pretty interesting. I wonder exactly what happened to the other armor, like the other Mokai Knight armor, you know, the red armor that, you know, Alfonso's teacher taught him or gave to him. I wonder what happened to that armor. Can he use both or is, you know, Leon going to have to use that? A lot of questions there. But overall, this episode of Garo pretty damn nice. It was a good episode. Like I said, it, it's getting better by the week and the story is picking up. I wonder exactly what direction it's going to take next. Let me know in the comments below. I love you all so much. Please be safe. Chibi out.